with Alish, Alish in Wonderland we call her. Um, lovely, lovely, lovely mare. I know people say all chestnut mare, but she is lovely. I mean, truly lovely. Kind, gentle creature, sensitive, but brave, you know. Just walk, darling. Everything you could want in a, in a lightweight horse or a young lady to ride. I mean, seriously nice horse. And you see all her other films, she drives tandem, she drives pair, she drives single, she rides, and she's done it all in the middle of town. So, well, with the exception of tandem, I mean, we've been out in the traffic, but, um, yeah, well, actually, we've been out in a yeah, good bit of traffic, actually, when I come to think. But it's all on her films there, you can look back and see her, all her other films. Um, but she is lovely, but what we're doing at the minute, we're trialling, for me, well, start again, many years, many, many years now, I've tried hard with all, all, all I could to, to make a rubber bit or get a company to make a rubber bit for me. And it's always been hard work. You know, it's hard work from the point of view, they want to make, you know, 10,000, 1,000 minimum. And the cost is astronomical. But we've spent a great deal of money trying to develop a rubber bit um, that is better than the ones you can buy. But as soon as you do that, you put a great deal of money in. I mean, I'm a serious amount of money, not, not a few quid. It's a lot of money. So anyway, a company's approached us because we're well known like around the world. Now we've got over 22 million hits on YouTube. And what we're known for, I suppose, really is producing horses in just a rubber bit. They never have a bit of metal in their mouth all the time they're here. So I was very interested when I was approached to test out these new bits. And uh, they've sent us a good selection of bits. Um, and also, they, you know, they're very willing to listen to, you know, our opinion, all strong promotions opinion on you know when where they can be improved or not but the actual structure of the bit in the horse's mouth whatever it's made of i mean it's some sort of rubber it could be a silicon it could be anything i don't really know much about it um as far as the actual chemical makeup of the you know of the actual bit but they're lovely i've tried two this morning uh, you've got to give horse a little bit of time to get used to things you know people don't realize you change something, and then their dear little mouth, you know, is so sensitive. Um, and, you know, we love to keep it like that, as sensitive as possible. And I'm very impressed with the actual bit. The cheek pieces, I think they can be improved. Also, there's some one or two other things. Um, but the actual structure of the bit, and, and this is quite so interesting to me, you know, it's fascinating. So I've had one of our bits in that we buy in, not one of that we've made ourselves, but we buy in. So they're a standard rubber bit. Now this horse would have its tongue out, its mouth open. It was, it would go lovely. It wasn't a problem to drive. I'm not saying that, but it, and it would be put, moving its tongue around tremendously. Now. In one way, I think to myself, well, that's good, you know, because it can move its tongue around. Well, obviously, if you're laying a straight bar bit, the snaffle, you know, being made of rubber across the horse's tongue and, and bars, then if you restrict the, um, if you restrict the tongue, I hold it down because of the pressure you're having to apply. I mean, I don't apply any pressure, as you can see, I've got to go with you know, do what I ask you to do with the rain slack, not because you're hanging on to it, that's no good. Um, no good at all. It just makes horses hard mouth, doesn't it? And when people say, well, no, it's uh, pressure and release, so what that is is pain and release, please believe me. Um, you know, it's easy to say when you're not the horse having a lump of iron in your mouth and saying it's, it's you know, it's pressure and release. What it is is pain and release because it bloody hurts. If you put it up your forearm, I've said this a thousand times, put your thumb up in the air, put the bit there on that bone and the curb chain there. Got your shank coming down here on the Liverpool bit, butterfly, buxton, whatever you want to 
put in military reversible and you give that a little turn with two fingers make a man cry with the pain so i'm not you know when you see people driving and riding with you know a lot of pressure on the reins and it you know that's, that's got to be painful and what all does when it's got pain it'll push against it so if, if we can break all the horses we do and it is in the thousands you know that's no exaggeration but it must be a thousand films on youtube and they're all in rubber bits with some very very rare exceptions when we're demonstrating something or the owner specifically you know for whatever reason wants them to go in a, in a dip particular bit once they leave us i don't really care what bit they put them in after that that's entirely up to them but if you if they do all we want in a rubber bit under the pressure we put them under so being in the middle of town standing on the motorway bridge looking down at the traffic going in the river going around the obstacle course you know and i mean heavy traffic i mean with arctics running up the side not more than a meter or so away from the horse and they'll be you know they're happy to do it and they're confident in themselves and you can control them safely on the public highway in a rubber bit well what do you want to put a lump of iron in for and there's thousands of iron bits or about thousands but there's i've got an old catalogue book several old catalogue books not just one that was reprinted i've got some other ones and you know the amount of bits in there well the bits was never made for a bloody horse they was made for the inability of man that's what they were made for in my opinion um to control the horse well if you can control it with a piece of rubber that's got to be kinder nicer and the horse has got to be happier for it any um and, and the difference is quite incredible when i have people come you know for um experience days and they're interested in the bits what we do we've got a weight i don't know i think it's about 50 pound weight something like that and we put we suspend it on a rubber bit so it's like a suitcase handle and most people can pick it up without any trouble at all change it over for a you know a liverpool or whatever forming the handle and people can't lift it up because it hurts because the rubber one the soft rubber we use molds to the shape of your end so that's that i'm explaining that so it, because it relates to what we're doing now so this um this horse has got this new rubber bit in now it had the, 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 the original rubber bit that we bought in the horse went all right in it like that but it was its mouth mouth was busy so what I'm saying, it'd be flopping its lips about, it would have its tongue in and out. We'll show you on the on this film. Now we've put this new bit in. Now the bit is shaped. Yeah, so that so the ordinary black bit you would buy off the internet is what we were using. And that will bend to the shape must have done because the horse is moving its tongue around a great deal all the time yeah um and it slips and everything like that well now it's going just lovely because this bit is shaped so i think even with the rubber bit that we add in i'm just because a rubber bit a rubber bit is not a rubber bit rubber bit rubber bit hello there the um they can be improved on and i think these people that have manufactured this bit the bit itself i'm talking about it's absolutely lovely we've got very little movement in the mouth but i can you know i can feel it's actually feel its tongue you know moving freely it can still pop its tongue out between its front teeth if it wants to so you know so we've got the flex and we've got a bit of shape I'll explain to you, you know, how I see it working. We've done a great deal, I mean seriously, a great deal to try and develop the perfect rubber bit. Does that exist? I don't know. But you can only aim towards it, and would it sell every horse? I don't know. But it's just strange that we've got two, two horses. These are ready to go home, they're being picked up shortly. 
and we put them in these new rubber bits and they've settled to them so quickly and so happily, I can't tell you. It's such a, you know, I'm not saying they weren't happy in the other rubber bit, but this one is a better rubber bit. That's what I'm saying, it's better. And it's because it's shaped, I believe. So all she's just going along, if I just show you here, look, for instance, and I just put the, just them two fingers, you know, on this horse, yeah? And I can let the reins go slack. Can you see, look? See the reins sliding through my fingers and laying on the horse's back. But look at the head carriage. Look at the lovely head carriage on that horse. As gentle as anything. Just the weight of the reins. I mean, seriously. And that horse is walking. If you say to me, well, it's done, a, it's, done a, it's done about a mile and a half, right, from home. And it's full of grub. I mean, they are heavily fed. They, so if we can... We had this head carriage with the other bit. I'm not saying I'm not saying we didn't. But this, to get another bit, put in the horse's mouth, it's had it in literally as we left the yard, we put the bit in. I didn't leave it in a stable, get used to it for a time. I want to see how it would react to it, you know, under the worst circumstances, which obviously give it no time at all, and just see how it would come to the bit. Well, if anyone can do can you see the head carriage on the slack rein, look? So, if, if Regis jumps, jumps down and walks along the, jumps down, sorry, and walks along the side and just get a side view of this um, for you.